welcome to Cable Magic. You're listening to Shane Seymour and I'm going to show you how to terminate coax cable known as RG6 quad shield coaxial cable. Knowing how to terminate this cable is important to do it correctly um, because it can make the difference between your antenna system working and not working. Now I'm just going to do one really quickly and show, so you know what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to explain to you the step-by-step -step procedures to getting a connection like that that screws onto your antenna, that screws onto a splitter and makes up your whole antenna system. So first of all, you need some coax strippers. You can use a Stanley knife, but these are much better and will do it quickly and easily. Just some cutters. Just... Uh, or pliers will do and a hex crimp tool this is a professional crimp tool for in crimping F connectors it's got a hexagonal shape you could squash connectors on with pliers but it's not recommended if your connection fails it's because you didn't use the right tool okay so what you need to do first of all is with your coax cable you feed it through the coax strippers, like so. Let's get that bit out there. And it will stick out a little bit so that it's flush with that little bit that sticks out on the side of the stripper. All you need to do then is give it a few spins back and forth, pull it off, and your cable will be stripped like so. It's very important that you have a white edge all the way around there and no little bits of braiding are touching the semiconductor. If it is, you need to get it out with your fingernail and make sure it's not got touching the, the semiconductor in the middle or your connection will fail, it'll short out. Next, you need to have the right size connector. This is an RG6 connector for RG6 cable. You will notice that the, the hole in the inside is uh, the right size for this size cable. You can also get an RJ, RG459 connector, sorry. And I'll just get that in there. You can see there that the hole is quite smaller. That's for thinner, older cable. You can't buy that cable new anymore. That's if you've got that old cable in your house. You may need these connectors and they're RG, RG59 connectors. So, next, you slide the connector on and then I might look, make this look pretty easy. I've got callusters on my fingers for doing it a long time. But you want to work that connector on so that it's flush on the inside there where the white, the dielectric comes up flush with the inside of the connector. You can see it there. Next, I want to cut that back as close as I can get so that it protrudes only a millimetre. It's important that, that you do that because if you don't cut it back, when you insert that into an antenna or a splitter or a wall plate, it can damage it, so always cut it back. Next, with your crimp tool, you need to know which size you're using. And on these crimps, it's the one at the back. I want to put that in there so that it's flush with the edge of the, the end of the connector with the edge of the tool. I simply squeeze and that's my connection. I shouldn't be able to pull it off. I'm pulling as hard as I can. It won't come off. That's how to do it correctly. The, the end should spin freely and that's what makes up an antenna system. You'll have these at the antenna, you'll have these at the splitter, you'll have these at the wall plate. Anywhere there's a junction or a point um, in an antenna system, this is the new com digital compliant connection. It's called an F-type or F-connector connection. Thank you for listening and you can buy all of these at cablemagic.com.au the tools, the connectors and the coax cable.